Hi, this is Amy of Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures on the web at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com I'm doing a little free motion quilting using a long arm ruler and I thought I'd share with you how I do that. First of all, I've got this special toe on my free motion quilting foot set, the convertible free motion quilting foot set from Janome. Needle up so you can see. It's got a nice round toe. It's tall. It fits the height of my ruler so that the ruler does not slip and go up underneath the needle. Um, I really like this toe. Uh, the set is for a, um, I believe they call it the frame quilting foot set for those who want to take a larger Denomi machine and use it in conjunction with a frame system then where you're actually moving the machine and not the quilt. Um, but I put it on my stationary machine and I can use the ruler. Uh, the trick is with this machine, this particular machine, I'm sure it's not the same for all machines. Uh, I have my eye on a couple other Janomis that don't have this issue. I have this AccuFeed in the back. You can't see it. Uh, I don't really want to move my uh, camera. But it does not have a lot of clearance for the ruler in the back. Also, there is not a lot of clearance for the ruler underneath the foot. And I don't find this to be a big issue. I just need to work with my ruler in front of the foot. and. Also, I've, I've done some work with the ruler off to the side before, but mostly I keep it in front. That way I can have both hands on the ruler if I need to. You need to have some sort of a grip on your ruler. I have a method that I've used. It's very cheap. It's clear nail polish and salt on my ruler. I have it in several places. This is a method that uh, periodically needs to be reapplied as the salt wears off. Um, but it's on my ruler so that it helps grip the fabric because I need to hold the ruler motionless up against my um, the foot of my machine and still be able to move the whole sandwich with the ruler. If it slips, I'm going to mess up my lines. If I have to press really hard to get it to stay in place, I am not going to stitch smoothly. Now what I've done is I have lines on the ruler. Can you see that? I believe you can. The lines help me line up with a previous line of stitching. And I am lining up the foot with um, so that I have half inch squares on my quilt. And I just line it up all the way across and go stitching. I start off slow to kind of get the feel of it. Sometimes I get just a little bit pressing too hard. And then as I get a little used to the motion, you can speed right up, pressing that ruler the whole time down on the quilt and also against the toe. Now I'm about ready to run into the body of my machine with the one end of the ruler. So I'm going to stop just for a little bit. Move this down, make sure I didn't slip away from that line of stitching. Keep that ruler right on that line of stitching because the position of the ruler determines the position of the line of stitching. And now I've got a bit of quilt up under my camera mount. Try to steady that. I hear my timer going off in the kitchen, which means the cornbread I have made is ready. So I'm going to have to stop real quick. I've lined it up again. You can see some blue lines on this quilt going across. And those are just some initial registration lines so that I knew that I was getting a nice 45 degree line on my quilt. I'm just backtracking along that line of stitching there for my design. And I'm going across again. This is a great way to put some really traditional uh, quilting on your quilt. And as you can see, it's a lovely little texture to it. 
here's one of my motifs of echoing around it going out and then there's where the cross hatch lines start and I use the echoing around the motif to get around to the different parts to move at the ends of the lines and I just find it fairly quick and efficient um, effective design Anyway, I'm going to go rescue my cornbread from the oven. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, you can find more information about quilting with uh, long arm rulers on your domestic machine at the blog. That's Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. And I hope you found this useful and enjoy. Bye bye.